I can tell you how the seal went loose. <sighs> All right. Whenever we're removing and rebuilding the pump assembly, make sure you leave a couple bolts inside. So in case the triple duty valve or your main valve does not shut, it doesn't <clears throat> blow the whole thing out and cover you in water and flood the room. Little tech tip. Okay guys, I had to use a little persuasion here. To get the impeller off, I used the weight of the bearings to, to drop itself down, okay? Then uh, I hijacked the forklift. Then after that, used PB Blaster. Then mush that pretty good. All right. So there we saved whatever $500 on an impeller because that's brass or who knows what it is. Uh, and my seal and sleeve are all gonna need replaced. I'm gonna have to check out them bearings now too. There goes that. Oh uh, man. Yeah, that's where it was shooting water out of right there. Sleeve needs replaced. Gotta make sure these bearings are okay. Huh. Once installing the sleeve, you must apply Loctite to the shaft thoroughly, then install the sleeve onto the shaft, turning it left and right multiple times to evenly coat the Loctite. I would recommend one hour before installing the seal after that. Took all them grooves out. Now my pump shield should work. Believe it or not, guys, what actually makes your seal with these pump couplings 
is that shiny face touching that ceramic plate. You can loop that up with a little bit of soapy water when you're assembling it, but end result, that's what's making your seal. Okay guys, we are back up and running. Um, you might see a little bit of water on the ground. That's uh, because we have the plug out of the top, bleeding out air out of this um, volute system. Now, you gotta bleed it out just because there's cavitation, which cavitation is nothing more than just water and air mixing together. It's churning, creating bubbles, and it'll sound like gravel and rocks running through there, and it's bad on the impeller, uh, and you're not getting the good flow you want. Uh, so I just bled that out, and got some leftover residue. So basically, um, our old pump seal ran on top of this, and as you can see, it is not sealing good. So it was spraying out water, as you've seen in the very first video when we walked in. So it's all back together, new seal in there, um, coupling looks good, and uh, we're good. So we are back on, up and running. So. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe. We got to put this uh, cover back on. Thank you.